Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk mountain weather and uh, ski conditions. And obviously the big story is this storm system right here spinning off the coast of California. You can see it on radar and satellite. I've marked it. It has been snowing in the Sierra up and down California. Nice. It'll continue to snow through tonight into tomorrow morning there. Now the future of this low pressure is everything. What's happening in Colorado right now, that's all pre-storm. It's appetizer. And in fact, even what happens tomorrow and Friday is really just appetizer type stuff in Utah and Colorado. The main low will make a track like this and become a southern track low, cut off from the main flow, but the jet is with it. It will be coddling this thing. But what happens with this low in the future is the story. It, it will, uh, the track of this will determine the destiny for Colorado and some of Utah and some of New Mexico into the weekend. So that's your dip in the jet right now. As I put this into motion, watch what happens. The whole low gets carried in. We'll stop this on Sunday at four. The low is sitting basically right here in this big dip in the jet and you've got winds coming up around the low. And then what happens to this is really important. What, look at this, it's gonna start to hook right here at the panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma. That hook pattern, becomes very important to determining who and how much snow comes down in Colorado on the Continental Divide and then tilting down across the east side, uh, the east slope essentially of Colorado. So that's Sunday at four. Now by the time we go from Sunday into Monday, the jet will carry the area of low pressure away and that will mark the end of the storm system, the end of this low for the west at least for now. But that is the big game in town across uh, the southern tier of states. So, all right, let's move into the future here on our future radar. This is the view at noon right now. Again, that snow falling in Colorado, Wyoming, that's all pre-storm and that's going to move away. All eyes will be on California where it is snowing right now. So here comes the low, begins to push precip out by Thursday morning. We'll brush the Wasatch. It will snow in parts of the High Uintas and of course in Southern Utah in Southwest Colorado on Thursday morning. Some of the best conditions all the way into the weekend will be basically from the Wasatch and the Southern Utah and in most of Colorado and Northern New Mexico. That's the view on Friday morning. Now, by the time we go from Friday night into Saturday, this is when things really start to kick into gear. The low will move towards the four corners with the jet and then we're gonna start to get that pipeline of moisture to establish itself. Powerful upslope winds are gonna slam into parts of um, Colorado. Look at that pipeline of moisture here. So the low, again, kind of moving into this area, and then you've got the pipeline of moisture that's going to establish itself on the front side of that area of low pressure. So if this is Saturday morning at five. Um, there's a fair amount of precip right there across most of Colorado. And again, really focusing on what happens uh, along the front range and the eastern slope of Colorado with that pipeline. So that's Saturday. Let's move this into Saturday afternoon Saturday night and Sunday morning. At this point, the low will have moved towards Albuquerque and then begin that hook pattern and move in to Southeast Colorado. And that's when we're gonna to start to see the maximum upslope. Look at the deep blues on the Continental Divide of Colorado tilting down. So watch Loveland, watch Winter Park. If you can even get to these resorts, uh, it's gonna be very difficult. You have to already be there in position. And that's the value of some of these forecasts. It shows you where to be, and when the latest point of being there, you gotta already be in position. Loveland, Eldora, Winter Park, up towards Cameron Pass, Longs Peak, very heavy snowfall, maximizing in some of those areas. And by Monday morning, um, the light snow has taken over, the storm's moving away. The next storm will be moving into the west coast of California by that point. So accumulation numbers by Thursday morning, really uh, adding a little bit there to uh, Squaw, Tahoe, down to Mammoth, and we begin the light snow accumulations from Utah and into Colorado. Bigger amounts will take shape between Thursday and Friday in Colorado. We're adding a few more inches. Notice the Wasatch has added a few inches as well. Here come the bigger numbers. Between Friday, Friday afternoon, Friday night, and Saturday morning, the, the, uh, the San Juans all go up a little bit, and notice the numbers. And when you start to see the magenta colors break out, that's a foot plus and we start to see those take shape on the divide of Colorado and down to the east. So between Saturday uh, Saturday morning, Saturday night, and Sunday morning, we start to really see the big numbers ticking up in Colorado. Look at that. So now we're at two, three, four feet of snow. Um, and again, all the magenta colors are all a, a foot plus by that point. Notice we've added some on the outer bands to Kings Peak and the High Uintas, LaSalle Mountain down in the southeast uh, Utah, the LaSalle's. 
will add uh, about half of about a foot and a half of accumulation. Here are the grand totals, and this is by Sunday night at 5 p.m. Working on 60 inches over Cameron Pass. We may even see 70, 80 inches down through Estes Park, up towards the Longs Peak District, and some of those locations. Uh, Winter Park should should do well, 30 inches plus, uh, close to 30 over Loveland. So. This is going to be an important storm, and again, the eventual track will be critical to determining where that pipeline of moisture sets up and where the biggest totals are going to be. But this, right now, this is my best guess, given the current track and the latest numbers that we have. So there you go. I'll put another update tomorrow in here. Always appreciate you tuning in here and watching these videos. Take care.